Oil is largely extending gains today. Despite a drop in the Asian trade, oil quotes are still holding near the three-month highs. The ruble has advanced to the level of 68 against the US dollar, supported by positive dynamics in the energy market. At one point, oil was down by 3% in the early trade. Oil market came under pressure after White House trade advisor Peter Navarro said on Monday that the US trade deal with China was over. However, later Donald Trump denied this information and crude prices resumed their uptrend. Brent oil futures for August were trading higher by more than 1% in the day trade. The North Sea grade settled at $43.61 a barrel. WTI futures contract for August also gained more than 1% to trade at $41 per barrel. Meanwhile, market sentiment remains moderately positive on hopes for further economic recovery and a pickup in fuel demand. Besides, Bank of America has upgraded its outlook for oil prices for this and next year. According to this forecast, Brent is expected to settle at $43.70 per barrel in 2020, while WTI will trade at $39.70. However, market participants are expecting downward correction in the near future. So far, investors have been ignoring the risks of the second wave of the pandemic. So the next factor to influence oil quotes will be the data on crude inventories in the US. The bears may take the lead if oil stockpiles reach new highs, as was predicted earlier. The ruble is gaining ground on rising oil prices and the weakness of the US dollar. In addition, the currency sales introduced by the Bank of Russia and the ongoing tax payment period serve as the local supporting factor for the ruble. Today, investors will focus on the two auctions on federal loan bonds. The auctions will be held first time after the Central Bank of Russia has drastically lowered its key interest rates. In the meantime, global markets are trying to find a balance between growing fears over the resurgence of the COVID-19 pandemic and stimulus measures of global regulators, coupled with hopes for a quick economic recovery. The dollar-ruble pair was edging lower by 0.45% in the mid-session and settled at the level of 68 rubles 79 kopecks. At the same time, other commodity and emerging market currencies did not show any significant changes. The growing number of coronavirus cases in the US and other countries will remain the main risk factor for the ruble. Today, the dollar-ruble pair continues moving near the upper boundary of the trading range between 67.50 and 70 points. So far, the pair is unlikely to go beyond these levels. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.